today will be our last final show. It's a Western West meet East. I'm going to bring my best friend, Tina, here. Tina Morgan, here's my good friend. Hello. How are you? I'm well, Susie. How are you? Can we have a hug? Of course. Good to see you. Good to see you, too. Well, I think we decided we were both going to do beef today. Beef. So, so what kind of beef will you bring in today? So today, I'm going to start with a beef tenderloin piece. OK. I'm going to use a traditional recipe, okay. beef wellington, okay. but I'm going to break it down. So we call it deconstructed. Wow. The beef wellington has three main components, the okay. beef, the mushrooms, okay. and a pate. Okay. And it all gets wrapped up into a puff pastry. Okay. But again, we're going to deconstruct that into its separate parts. Okay. So today we're going to start with the mushrooms. I've thinly, thinly sliced them. Okay. And with the mushrooms, I've already pre-done them, so we're just okay. going to warm them. But what you want to do is get your pan really searing hot okay. and do it in small batches because mushrooms have lots and lots of water. Chew. If you do them all together, the water just comes out and it steams the mushrooms oh. instead of searing them. Mm -hmm. So just little batches and it's actually quicker to do it that Is way that as well. Right? With these you're going to start with a dry pan. Dry pan? Okay. You're going to add the mushrooms when it's really nice and hot okay. and you'll hear it almost crackle. So once you've evaporated uh -huh. as much of the water as you can, you're going to add your salt, your pepper, your seasonings. To mm -hmm. these mushrooms, I added a, a little bit of thyme, because thyme and mushrooms are wonderful oh, together. Thyme. I use uh, ground beef today. OK. Which is, you use beef tenderloin. Yes. I use ground beef. So I have uh, my mushrooms, which is uh, shiitake mushrooms. Very nice. It's dried. I was going to say, these look like they were dried, and you've reconstituted them. Yes. So my first step will be I chop a little mushroom okay. and a little bit of ginger. I put it in my beef. In the beef. You squeeze out the uh, all that water. The water and make it a little bit dry. So I'm going to just uh, slice a little bit. Okay, I can go a little bit quicker. So now you're getting your mushrooms then. Just a quarter, uh, coarsely chop it. Okay. In the other part of my dish, which mm -hmm. is the pate, I use sage. You've got some beautiful fresh sage here. Okay. This is a fresh homemade chicken liver okay. pate. This takes hours to make, so I wow. couldn't do it here. Okay. But this starts out with onions, and I know you also use onions in yes. your dish. Okay. And in those, I put lots and lots of sage. So okay. that's my other spice component mm. to this, or my other herb component to this. Okay. Then it comes down to the chicken livers, okay. get cleaned, okay. get added to the pot, okay. and just until they're barely cooked, and then it goes through a food processor until it's really, That's really it. fine. That's it. It's mm. a really simple recipe. Sugar, no sugar. Nothing. Never when mm. I caramelize my onions. I know some chefs do, but mm. if you do it over a long period of time, you don't have to add sugar. The onions will release and caramelize their own sugars. Yeah. Alexa, how you make it so creamy? Like, That's a long time in the food processor. Just to. when you think it's done, mm -hmm. do it a little bit more. My onion, I probably just put it into my beef. Okay. Right? So I put a little bit of onion. And uh, we'll use a little bit of salt. Give a probably a teaspoon of salt. And uh, use at least a two, oh, two, table, two teaspoon of sugar. Because it just gave a little sweet flavor. OK, because you're using the raw onion in there, right? Correct, so, yeah. yeah. And then I probably add just a little bit of oil. Yeah, so probably just a quarter cup. Okay. But for flavor, you add the sesame oil. I have to add a little bit of sesame. The main trick is to add a little bit of ginger. I'm going to just chop a little bit of ginger, probably give a teaspoon. So now I have probably a mm, tablespoon of ginger. You can add more if you want. Add a little bit of pepper. Wait. So that's my beef. So you just mix it, and the light it can bite together, and then you wrap it. So our next step is going to sear our beef. I will put my mushrooms into a bowl to get them out of that pan. Yeah. Okay. That looks so good. They're so hot. we're going to do okay. a little salt. Okay. Just a both sides. Seasoning a little bit. Mm -hmm. Okay. And a good whack of pepper. Mm -hmm. Always a pepper, right? So we've got a nice pan here. We're going to pop gonna sear that it. in. You can hear that it's sizzle. Nice, yeah. nice sizzle. Yeah. We've got our beef all nicely seared. We're going to pull it out of the pan. Okay. Now one thing you can do, you'll see there's all sorts of beautiful, nice fond in this pan. You could take some red wine okay. and make a little bit of a reduction sauce to go on this. We're doing this in an appetizer size, so okay. a sauce might uh, might not work really well on okay. this. But if you were doing this on a plate, that would be absolutely okay. lovely. Add a little beef stock in there uh -huh. as well. Okay, thanks. 
See, it's so a there shelf, we go. right? Yeah. Oh, it's beautiful. It's kind of a medium rare. Yeah, medium rare. Yeah. Um, but again, if you're doing this for a plated uh, person, then okay. you can do it to whatever wellness they People like want. it. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Our pastry that we mm -hmm. use is the puff pastry, and okay. I bake this off separately. Okay. Now, puff pastry does just that. It puffs when it cooks. Okay. So when you make these little squares from your puff pastry, yeah. you're just going to buy that from the frozen okay. section at the grocery okay. store. Um, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to pockmark it okay. with a fork. Okay. And that way it doesn't get Pub bubbles bubble. all over the okay. place. You want to keep okay. it relatively flat for your beef. Okay. okay? So you just grab your little Ziploc bag. That's your you trick. You cut off oh a corner God. and you put your... We're going to take some of our pate and we're going to pop that in there. Sing. Cooking is your passion, yeah, singing passion, is mine. Yes. I started singing when I was in high school. Yeah. Um, add your mushrooms and then you're okay. just going to lay your beef across the top. And you've got this beautiful little appetizer. Oh my God. For your guests. It's not a pretty. Forgot to put a little bit of curry. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna give it just a little. Depends on how much you want. Mm -hmm. Okay. You can give it a teaspoon. So now you mix it. You see how the beef is set. Mm -hmm. Let's uh, blend in this um, onion, mushrooms, right. salt, pepper, and the oil. So here's a little water. So what I do, I put it here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Look at the Tina. Okay. Now I well, put, put a little here. Before it's nothing new for me. Gotcha. So this is. East, <laughs> that's the West. Different way. So now, no. what? Do, how pleated. you pleat it? Pleat it. Yes. How you pleat it? Okay. So now I do this one, mm -hmm. and you can make a one tongue step. Right. So that's one oh, tongue see, I always, step. Mm -hmm. So uh, I put the oil in the little pot, right? Yep. And then I have temperature probably I need a 330. You okay. don't want to burn it, but right. you want to brown it. Right. And, and if it's too hot, the, the pastry will cook burn. before the inside, right? Here you go. Mmm. Not hot? Mmm. Mmm, cook. Mmm. You still win. Mmm. You win. You're the winner. Thank you for watching, and I appreciate you enjoying our show.